Weather for Weather Geeks here in the month of March with April beginning in a matter of hours and we've got some good news and some bad news as we go into the month of April. Before we get to the outlook for the weekend and for the month of April, of course, since it is the last day of the month, let's do a little review of where we've been in March. Now, the warm days have outnumbered the cool days in March and it's going to come out in the wash as about three and a half degrees cooler or uh, warmer, I should say, than the average thanks uh, to days like we had today. That's 69 uh, for the high today. It was actually a pre-dawn high. Our afternoon highest temperature was about 68, but at the airport it was still in the upper 60s early this morning. We've come such a long way since the beginning of the uh, week. The high Monday was just 25 degrees. That is March in eastern Ohio and western PA for you. It can feature some big wild swings. Interesting that every Wednesday was either at average or above average uh, this uh, March and Thursday was also a pretty warm day. Some of the coolest weather we had during March was on Tuesdays. Three out of five Tuesdays were cooler than average this time around in the month of March. What about snowfall? We've had two snow-free Marches in a row, 2020 and 2021. This year we had some snow in the month of March, but it was still less than average. We average about 10 inches or so at the Youngstown Warren Airport, and we finished with 8.3 at the airport. Some of the biggest totals from our snow showers Sunday morning, 1.9. And then, of course, we had a pretty decent snow event back on Friday into Saturday, the 11th into the 12th, with uh, about 5.4 inches worth of snow in total between those two days, making a, uh, you know, it kind of made up the majority of our snow totals in the month of March. All right, looking ahead to April, these forecasts are from the Climate Prediction Center, uh, and uh, I, I like what they've done. Their original April outlook featured odds favoring warmer than average temperatures throughout our region. Now that outlook was put out 10 or 11 days ago. And their updated outlook, as we're now knocking on the door of April, does feature less orange across the Great Lakes, which I think is the right idea. I think the first 10 days or so of April is going to feature some back and forth, including a couple of pretty decent cool shots. One coming uh, at the end of the upcoming weekend, another coming probably the following weekend. Beyond that, uh, Mid-month is looking more favorable for sustained warmth. Overall, it may come out in the washes warmer than average, but the confidence on that is lower than March's outlook. March, of course, as I just mentioned, is going to come out at about 3.5 degrees warmer than average. April will probably be closer to the average, even if it ends up on the plus side. Higher confidence in the precipitation forecast in the month of April. Much like the last several months, this will probably feature wetter than average conditions during the month of April. Uh, so you can expect frequent bouts of rain in April and maybe some thunderstorms in the mix as well. We didn't have much severe weather at all last spring, especially uh, around mid-spring, April into May. It was a quiet period for severe weather. Maybe we see something sort of similar this year, although I suspect our thunderstorm and severe weather chances will be a little bit higher in the middle of spring this year as compared to Last year. All right, today the wind, as promised, was a story. At 2.51 this afternoon, we recorded a 44-mile-per-hour gust at the Youngstown Warren Airport. That was the highest gust at the airport earlier on today. Now, we had a different kind of wind, perhaps, uh, just to our east, a couple of hours to our east anyway, uh, north and east of Pittsburgh and just west of Punxsutawney in Armstrong County, <clears throat> pardon me, Pennsylvania. Uh, some uh, wind damage here, and the uh, National Weather Service office in Pittsburgh is actually going to go out and survey this damage uh, tomorrow to see if this was straight line winds or a tornado. There was some rotation with this. Several tornado warnings were issued for areas north and east of Pittsburgh up towards Interstate 80 for a time earlier on this afternoon. We've had a pretty decent severe weather episode today uh, across parts of the mid-Atlantic states up into the New England and also down into the Carolinas. Still have a severe thunderstorm watch in yellow for the mid-Atlantic states. Red box is still what's left of a tornado watch from North Carolina up into what we call the Delmarva Peninsula, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, all meeting up along the Atlantic seaboard. All right, it's going to be much, much colder, of course, on Friday, as we've been talking about this week, compared to 24 hours ago as we hit the 7 o'clock hour uh, here on this Thursday evening. It's 15 degrees cooler, but Columbus is 35 degrees cooler than the same time last night, as is Cincinnati, Indianapolis, 37 degrees colder then the same time last night, and as the colder air arrives tonight, there'll be a couple of rain showers breaking out, but already some snowflakes trying to get into the mix around 2 or 3 in the morning out towards I-71, Cleveland to Mansfield. If we see snowflakes around here before daybreak, it'll be closer to daybreak. It'll be more like 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. 
Uh, not expecting any issues with this, really, but as you get up and head off to work and school tomorrow morning, snow flurries will be around at times, and I expect more snow flurries to be around at times throughout much of the daylight hours on Friday. In fact, a heavier snow shower will be a possibility. Remember a few days ago we had a day like this where it really didn't stick to anything, but occasionally we had some pretty decent reductions in visibility with a heftier snow shower moving through, and that'll be a possibility during the course of our Friday. Then high pressure builds in for the start of the weekend, some sunshine Saturday morning, clouds increase in the afternoon, and then eh, just kind of a ho-hum Sunday coming up with this little low scooting across some chilly rain showers late Saturday night into Sunday morning, maybe a couple of snowflakes as well. And while I can't rule out a shower Sunday afternoon, better chance probably will be first thing in the morning on Sunday. So I give the weekend forecast kind of a C plus. Saturday's gonna be a better day than tomorrow. It'd be nice if it were warmer. 52 on Saturday, clouds increase late Saturday night into Sunday. A couple of rain showers will be a possibility, maybe a snowflake. And you know, for April the 3rd, our average high is about 56-ish degrees. We will be almost 10 degrees shy of that though on Sunday. It's gonna be a chilly day. The extended period, I mentioned uh, late next week into the following weekend, so the second weekend of April, is looking pretty chilly. A couple of days, probably next Friday into next Saturday, where we will probably be well below the average, maybe 10 or 12 degrees below the average at the end of next weekend to the start of next weekend. So no surprise, today's 6 to 10 day outlook looks like this. All the warmth on the west coast and cooler than average temperatures favored in much of the eastern and central U.S., including around the Mahoning and Shenango Valley. So again, the first 10 days of April probably featuring some back and forth. I like some of the trends, though, by mid-month, featuring more sustained warmth by mid-April. So more updates on the long range coming up on future editions of Weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching tonight's video, and have a great rest of your Thursday night.